Hello, I'm Brendan North. Hi, Brendan. Good to see you. Mason Chadwick. Hi, Mason. It's nice to see you. I'm Joel Tini. Hi, Joel. Nice to see you. And this is our suggested promotional campaign. <clears throat> Olo what? You know what the Olo clip is. Um, basically, more pictures are taken on the iPhone than most other cameras. Uh, so, you guys are still in that early growth, late introduction stage, uh, and even though you launched two years ago. Uh, so we're hoping to boost your advertisement. Here are some uh, photos sent in from your uh, customers. Um, we thought it would be best uh, to sell at like Best Buy and Apple Store and Walmart because it's where like technology and technology accessories are often sold. There's where lots of people shop, so this would probably be like the best way to get our product out there. We will be focusing on 20 to 35 year old uh, iPhone users that already live in the city that are interested in photography and art. We chose New York City because it has large parks and the cityscape, so you're not just limited to one uh, venue, you get both. And with this campaign, we expect to reach an increase in sales by late summer. Uh, Mike Down is a 24-year-old public school teacher. He loves Bronx Park, uh, has a subscription to the New York Magazine, and keeps up to date with uh, the news. Melanie is a 30-year-old uh, secretary with uh, two kids. She watches 10 p.m. nightly or news nightly, and she likes Central Park. All right, June to August, we will be running our. Basically, we're setting up tents in Central and Bronx Park um, near a big road so that it's easily seeable as you're driving by and um, you can pull in there, but also near, you know, all the scenery that you can see in Bronx and Central Park. Um, we're doing it twice a month, once at each park, um, say the 15th and the 30th, plus or minus a couple days for the weekends, you know. Um, and basically, we'll have a tent set up, uh, and each time we'll print out a few pictures, a few select pictures from um, the last time we were there at the park. And customers can come in, look, buy pictures, try the Olo clip, uh, take more pictures. We'll print those out for next time. This is our magazine ad. It will be run 18 times on and off from March to September and it will appear on the right-hand side in the first half of the magazine in New York. This is the uh, first, the front side of our direct advertising, um, or mail. Uh, basically, this is just a coupon, uh, and we'll have, three. we spent $300 to get 5,000 of these. We're gonna send them out through uh, July, to September, um, once in July and twice in August and September. Uh, so we're just sending out a thousand at a time. And is it our TV ad? Introducing the Olo Clip, a quick connect lens solution for the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S. The Olo Clip is three lenses in one. A fisheye lens, a wide angle lens, and a macro lens. The Olo Clip works great with video too, and it's really easy to use. Here's how it works. Just slide it onto your iPhone. Flip it around to switch from the fisheye to the wide angle. Simply unscrew the wide angle lens to reveal the macro lens. Works great with any photo or video app, and it's made with quality materials and built to last. Olo Clip, the quick connect lens solution for the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S. Thank you. Talk to me a little bit about um, the strategy that's kind of, what's, what's the most important thing you guys think about this product that we need to educate consumers on? The first 
first we need to inform and then really new products so inform them and keep on them and then hopefully they'll come and buy the product. Okay. So does everything in your campaign revolve around the informing piece? No. Okay. So talk to me about um, the ones that do revolve around that and then where you think there will be a shift in your advertising to the persuasion piece. The TV and the magazine are informing uh, the personal selling. Uh, works more on getting the product in their hand and hopefully that will make them want to buy it. And the direct mail also that's more than just informing. I think that the uh, the the booth and the kiosk and the parks is a really good idea as far as having the product there and getting into the customer's hands and letting them use it. So let's say that, that I'm in the park and I stop by put it on, I take some pictures with it. So then does it transform that picture, that wide angle picture onto my hard drive and it is the wide angle picture on my camera? It just, it's just how it is perceived in, is that how? Yes. And then in order to, do you guys have the ability for me to print that picture out right there on the spot? We, we can have printers there. We. Uh, on our on the slide, it has uh, the cost for the printer that we have. You can connect printers through Bluetooth, and you'll be able to print it right off of your iPhone. Okay. So yes. Do you feel that it, this is something that you could kind of connect to any kind of social media campaign at all, or not? Why did you guys decide not to do that? We just didn't think it was the best route to go with the twenty or thirty-five year old. And also, you already have a pretty big fan base on the social media part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, for instance, uh, basically just picture utopia. <laughs> right. So, it, so you felt you feel like what we're doing there is already sufficient. Okay. Talk to me about when and where you're going to run these TV commercials. The TV commercials will be. Uh, mainly when it's hot outside, so people aren't out. Uh, so when they're inside, they'll be able to see the TV commercials five days a week. So Monday, or I'm sorry, Sunday through Thursday. What kind of programming? Uh, 10 p.m. News. Okay. Twenty to thirty-five year olds have a high viewership of 10 p.m. News. 10 p.m. And the last twenty to thirty-five year olds watching 10 that. 10 are there lots of 20 to 35 year olds watching that? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Good job, guys. Thanks.